welcome back. I have had a very special request come in to show you guys my cosmetics collection because most of you know that I coupon and pick cosmetics up all the time, either free or really, really cheap. So when that request came in, I went ahead and posed that question to the rest of you through Facebook and Instagram, and many of you gave me a thumbs up that you would like to see what I have. So if you would like to see my cosmetics collection, just stay tuned. Before we get started, I have to warn you, our home is still up under reconstruction and so things are just kind of in disarray. My husband and I have all of our stuff crammed back in a little room that we're using as a bedroom right now, so everything is not really well organized. But since you've asked, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Well, here we are. I have already warned you that my storage for this makeup is not the greatest right now. As you can see, our home is still up under some reconstruction, and so we just have things all just crammed in this room. There's our air bed over there that we're sleeping on. So everything is just kind of crammed onto this glass table for now. Most of you have uh, wanted to see this video though, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the collection. And when we get our bedroom completely finished and all the mold removed and we've moved back in, I will show you how I organize it generally. So let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing that you'll notice on this table right here is this container that is full of all kinds of goodies. The reason why most of you have requested this video is because you know that we do get some really great deals and even a lot of freebies on our cosmetics with our couponing. So this is a bin right now that is full of a bunch of goodies that we have yet to file away. It is my daughter and I in the house who share the couponing goodies that we happen to come across so a lot of times we will buy double of things if it is something that she and I both enjoy. So I'll show you what's in this basket just a little bit later after we go through everything else. Now you will have to forgive me as we go along if you see a lot of dust and just makeup particles that are floating around on the table. I did not take time to clean up very well to do the video. We're just under a time crunch and I just wanted to go ahead and show you. But this is what you see whenever I sit down at my table in the mornings to put on my makeup. This is my makeup mirror that is lighted. And this is what I use every time I get ready to put my makeup on. I have it propped up here on a big old dictionary just to bring it up a little bit taller so that I can see into it at eye level. And this bag right here is what most of my makeup I use just right out of this. It is a travel bag and because with what we do with our ministry and as busy as our family is, I usually just keep this all packaged up. This is the bare necessities that I can get by with when we travel. And it also is a lot of my everyday makeup. So it's easier for me just to go ahead and keep it packed up so that I can grab it at a moment's notice if we need to go somewhere. I also keep some of my brushes packed up in their little pouches. And then of course I do up underneath here have my Real Techniques eye makeup kit that I keep packed up at all times as well. And as you can tell, it is definitely a little dusty and needs to be cleaned right now. We just got back this past week from a big trip where we took our youth off for a great time. But these I just go ahead and keep. And uh, just like this one here, it does have a way that you can stand it up if you tighten that little knob in the back. So when we're home and during the week when I'm using my makeup, I just keep this sitting right up on my table so that when we get ready to travel, all I have to do is close it down and throw it in my bag quickly. So I'll go ahead and show you now what's in the bag. You guys will have to bear with me. This is a little bit hard to do on your own, but both of my kids are doing their schoolwork right now. So mommy's on her own. But in this first little pouch right here is where I keep a lot of my bigger brushes, my face brushes and blush brush, contour brushes and things like that. The pouches just a little dirty and these kind of things are really hard just to keep clean once in a while I do wipe those down with a baby wipe and it'll come fairly clean but 
even when my brushes have been washed and cleaned and dried the pouch still sometimes has a little powder residue but that's what I keep in this one and then in this little pouch right here is where you will see all of my eye brushes that I use most of them are from elf the elf brushes are just great brushes these little silver ones right here came in a kit that was out one year at christmas i couldn't even tell you who put that out but for inexpensive brushes these work wonderfully well and then i also just have some extra eyeliners in there a little bit of extra glitter because who doesn't love glitter when they're putting on some eye makeup so that's what I keep in that little pouch right there. This little pencil right here is one that is a staple in my collection. The NYX pencil in Milk. That provides just a great base if you are going to wear some bright colors that you really want to pop. And even if you're wearing some light neutrals, this applied to your eyelid as a base really helps the colors pop on that eye so this is a staple that i highly recommend you put in your collection as well then up here in the rest of the bag of course i always keep my d slick from urban decay i have extremely oily skin and so that is a must for me that is one of those little treasures that i was so glad that i came upon and found And then down in here is just a whole bunch of stuff. Of course, I always keep a colorful eye palette with me. This one here is Simply Sweet. This is one that we picked up at a Bell's outlet. And the color payoff is okay. It isn't as great as what I would like for it to be. But for an inexpensive shadow, you can't expect a whole lot more. But that is pretty good. I always keep with me a sharpener. For my eye pencils and my lipstick pencils, I keep that down in a little baggie just to help make the bag a little neater. Of course, an eyelash curler. I do have some. This here is from e.l.f. Nope, this one is the CoverGirl one. And uh, this is the, actually, it's the Bombshell. If you guys have tried the Bombshell Mascara, which is absolutely fantastic. I love it. This is the uh, eyeshadow. It's a cream eyeshadow keep one of those in there a couple of different foundations there's a whipped foundation of course my covergirl outlast which i really really love and i also love the revlon color stay so i keep a couple of different ones of those in there i also keep my maybelline age rewind to highlight up underneath my eyes You'll see a couple of different shadows down here, some L'Oreal and some of the cream shadows from e.l.f. This one here is the e.l.f. one, and I love that gold color. Just beautiful, beautiful. You will notice that a lot of the things that I have in here is a pretty neutral palette except for this one eyeshadow palette because whenever I travel, I don't always have time to, to really worry about lots and lots of makeup, so I keep it pretty neutral. Of course, I keep my Naked Basics in here from Urban Decay. That is a necessity. Use that every time I get ready. Um, I keep my Oil of Olay toner. That's a necessity every time I put my makeup on. Because I do have oily skin, my Lorac Porefection Mattifying Face Primer is a must for me. I don't have very many high-end expensive makeup products, but this is one that is definitely worth the investment for me, along with that D-Slick from the Urban Decay. And then, of course, I just have some contours, some powder blushes, and a few different shades in there. Um, along with the face primer, I do have a Smashbox primer for the uh, color perfecting. This one is the green one that takes away redness. I get really, really red around my nose and upper lip area, so I do use this primer when getting ready. And then, of course, what is eyeshadow without the Urban Decay Primer Potion? That is a staple as well. And that's pretty much it. The Physician's Formula Highlighter is the highlighter that I use all the time. And then, of course, my contour is just this little one from e.l.f. And um, I don't know a color name. And as you can see, everything's worn off the top. And I've already hit pan. I love this one just right for me. Uh, two more kind of higher end products that I have are from MAC. These were a gift to me from my daughter. And I'm not sure you can see that without me taking it out with one hand. It's a little 
hard to do, but this is an eyeshadow in the color Floof. I love that for an inner corner highlight and also right under the brow. Some people don't like that under the brow because it is very shimmery, but I am one that happens to love it. And then the other MAC product, these are the only MAC products that I own. She was good to me for Christmas last year, and I have enjoyed these a lot. But this here is just the uh, highlighting powder that I wear in the V up under my eyes just to give me a little lift to make me look a little more awake. So I have really been enjoying the shaping powder as well. And that's pretty much all that I keep in this staple bag that I use most every day and especially when I travel. Moving on along, I will go ahead and show you what's in these couple of bags here on the front so we can just move those out of the way to show you what's in the drawers on the back. But one of the staple items that I keep at hand's reach at all times is my Naked 3 from Urban Decay. I wouldn't say that I use this a lot when getting ready, um, but I do use it enough that I like to have it at hand's reach. And you can see right there just some of the beautiful colors. Those of you that follow cosmetic channels on YouTube already know how beautiful this palette is. But this is definitely one that is worth keeping at hand's reach. And over in this little bag right here that I keep on top of my table, this is actually my little travel bag. I picked this up at Walmart last year after Christmas. It had gone on clearance for just $5. And let me get that open for you. So I thought it was so pretty. Of course, it has the glitter. Y'all know I love glitter, and it's pink. And in here, I just keep a few of the staples that I want with me every time I leave my house. So when we get ready to leave the house, I grab this little bag and take it with me everywhere we go. It's got a little makeup sponge to help blot when my skin does get oily. It does have some rimmel face powder and you can see that's broken up and it's almost all gone so I need to pick another one of those up but that is what I use along with this big powder brush if I can find it when my face is getting oily and just needs to have a little pop put on it while we're gone. I do have some of my favorite colognes in here. I have my jo Jovan Musk and then I also have the Paris Hilton and this one is in Eris. That one there is just about gone, but this is one of my favorite perfumes of all time. I love that, as you can tell. I do have a lip pencil. I do have some mascaras, a couple of lip glosses, a couple of neutral color lipsticks, just in case that I forget to put mine in here that I happen to be wearing for the day. At least I will have something, but usually I try when I'm getting dressed that whatever color of lipstick I'm wearing, I just go ahead and throw it in here as well and keep it with me at all times. This just will not fit in my purse, so it has its own little pouch. Another staple that I have out on my table, and it actually needs to be cleaned right now. Like I said, we had been traveling, and I haven't even cleaned my brushes since we got back, but this is the Real Techniques Makeup Sponge that is very similar to the Beauty Blender. And so I keep that out and uh, keep that at hand's reach. And when we travel, I just pop that down in that travel bag and take that with me. And then this little case right here is a case that I picked up at Ulta not too long ago. Those of you who follow Divine Design on Instagram have already seen this little pouch. This is their holiday collection. It was $12.99, and everything that you are about to see came in the pouch except for just a couple of the eyeshadows. So it was a very great bargain. The little clutch itself was worth at least half of that much. So I'm not sure if Ulta still has these right now in their holiday collection, but if so, I would recommend that you take a look at that. And there you can see it was just full of goodies. It had a mascara, it had a concealer, had some eyeliners and some eyeshadows. And I won't go through taking it all out right now, but if you do follow me on Instagram, you can go to that account and search back a couple. It's it's been a little while. You'll you'll just have to dig through till you see all the pictures and all the swatches. But that was a great deal. I just have not emptied it out yet to file those away. And now moving on along to this side of my table. These are some temporary storage bins that I've picked up at the Dollar General. They just have some little slide out drawers that actually are working okay for now. And when we get back in our bedroom, I may still see if I cannot incorporate those in. 
to my storage collection. But up here on the top, you will see these little containers right here that I picked up at the Dollar Tree for just $1 each. And in these, I have varying products. In this first one here, I do have all of my lip pencils, except for the ones that I keep in my travel case. And of course, down in there with that, I do keep a little sharpener that I use just for lip products. And I keep that at arm's reach so that that's easy for me to get to. I am one that ever since I was young just love the look of a liner around lips and even to the degree that it's noticeable. And I know that's not everyone's taste, not everyone's flavor when they're getting ready, but I do happen to like it. Up here you will see a couple of my BB creams that I use whenever I'm running out just for a quick errand and don't feel like doing a whole face of makeup. I do use those products. In this middle bin right here are my favorite lip brands. I really, really, really love, and you can see that we did get most of this stuff, freebies on clearance, coupons, you name it, to get them really for cheap but um the la girls let's see if i can find one where you can actually see the name these uh, la girl lip paints these work wonderfully and they actually do stain the lip just a little bit so you don't have to reapply as often as some other lip products. So that is definitely a favorite. Another favorite brand that I have is the CoverGirl Outlast. These here, I just keep them in the box together because it's easier for me. So yes, these have been used and I just bundle them back up and put them back together. But it comes with a color and it also comes with a clear gloss. And so when you apply these properly and let that color set, for the full 60 seconds before applying the, the it's, it's like a clear gloss, but it's really a sealant. These literally will ask, last you eight to, they have lasted me up to 11 hours without having to reapply. So this by far is my favorite lip product. So when those go on sale and along with coupons, we always pick those up. And another favorite of ours is the L'Oreal Extraordinaire. These are another one that is really, really good. These you do have to apply a little more often though. Those do not have quite the lasting power of the LA Girls. They definitely don't have the lasting power of the Outlast, but they are beautiful and creamy and I just really enjoy those. So I keep those brands right at fingers reach because I tend to reach those more than a lot of the other ones I have. And then back here in this little container, you will see just a few more of more of my favorite lip products, not quite as favorite as these are, but these are also some that I do enjoy. I absolutely love the Revlon Color Bursts. Oops, not sure if I got that in the screen. The Revlon Color Burst, and then of course these pencils here from NYC. I love these. You can use them as liners or all over the lip. And then, of course, I always love the e.l.f. products. So these little e.l.f. pencils are also just fantastic. Moving on now into these drawers here. Most of the drawers, and I believe, let's see, there's five on each side. So there's 10 little drawers here are full of lipsticks. That's probably my favorite cosmetic pro product is lipstick and lip pencils. But in the top drawer, we have some different products that are not related to lips. Of course, there are some fake lashes back there, some eyelash glue. The eyelash glue is really great to have on hand if you like to wear colors or eye tints on your eyelids, especially for things like New Year's or Christmas parties or just any of those events where you wanna add a little sparkle. These little ones here came from Sally Beauty Supply. They are a cosmetic grade glitter and when you apply them with the eyelash glue, they will stay on all night long. So that's what I keep in the top. In the second little drawer right here, this my friend Mo sent me, shout out to her. This just helps you to arch on your eyebrows when you're filling those in if you're not quite sure how to shape your brows. Then I just have a couple little extra cosmetic things, an extra eyelash curler, sponges, applicators, those kind of things. That's what I leave in there. 
and then begins all the lip products. And what I have tried to do instead of separating them by brand for now because I just don't have the space is I actually separate mine by colors. Like in this drawer, you will see all of the really, really pinks, hot pinks and light pinks. And then I've also had to join in here also some reds. Let me see if I can pull that out just because I didn't have enough drawer to split them all up the way that I would like to. So I keep them by color families. So that way, whenever I'm getting dressed and I know what outfit I'm going to be wearing and know what color of lip I want to pair with it, then I can just go to the appropriate drawer. Now, one thing that you will see in a few of these drawers are baggies. And in these baggies, I've just found that this helps me when I find a lip pencil that matches up to a lipstick, what I feel is perfectly, and I don't want to put that pencil back in my big stack and then next time have to thumble through and say, well, which stick was that? Blah, blah, blah. I just go ahead and package them up together in a little baggie. So you will notice a couple of those in these drawers. That way, whenever I find a partnered pair that works really great together and I don't want to forget what the pair was, I just keep them already packaged up. And this drawer here is all of my nudes, what I would consider more neutral colors, some pinky nudes, some brownish nudes. I have some that are really, really light, like in a frost. And then I have all the way up to more of like brownish nudes, but anything that goes on with more of a nude finish is in there. And then down here in this drawer, I have all of my browns, my deep browns. Anything that's going to go on pretty dark, as you can tell, this drawer is pretty full. I love the dark colors. Anything that's in a dark wine or burgundy or what some people consider like a vampy color, these are down here in this drawer so that I know that I can get to my dark shades, especially now that we are into fall and winter. I love to wear a lot of really dark shades, so that's where I find those down in there. Up here in this top drawer, it is full of nothing but a bunch of lip glosses. <laughs> and some of these, the they are tinted, but they're really light or sheer tint. These are perfect for wearing on their own if you have a day that you're not really making yourself up a lot, or if you just want to add them over another color to spice it up. So just a bunch of different brands, Alme and NYC, and this is just, I'm not even sure this came in a kit with something somewhere along the line. There's some gold glitter that we picked up. That one here, you can see we paid 60 cents for. Not even sure where a lot of those came from, but we love them nonetheless. I've been trying to get my daughter to do a collection for you guys because she has at least as much as me, probably a little more. She'll argue that point, but I think she does have more than me. This is just my stuff, and of course, a lot of it we do share. In this drawer here, you will see more of my corals. And there's not many in here, but I do love coral shades, and so this is a drawer that I need to pump up the products with, get me some more coral shades when summertime rolls around. Down in here are all of my darker pinks that have more of a purplish undertone to them. So I just keep all of those together in there. Some really pretty colors here from NYC. Very inexpensive, especially when you partner them with coupons and store rewards at CVS and Walgreens. Then in this drawer here is all of my purple family from real light, light purples all the way to deep purples. Anything that goes on purple fits in this drawer right here. And then down in the bottom, as you can see, here's more of those packaged together with the little colors and sticks that all work together. But these are more of like the burgundies and the more of like a reddish brown, but they're not really brown. They're not really red. They're just like a burgundy. Those all fit in here just nicely. 
Moving on along to this side of the table, you will see some more of those containers that we picked up at the Dollar Tree. Uh, this pretty little bowl right here, not sure exactly where that one came from, but it fit pretty good in here to use for what I needed. So you will notice in this little jar right here is where we have all the Nivea lip butters that we just picked up recently for 50 cents each at CVS. Then we have all of our freebies on our Carmex that we got at Walgreens. There's some more Nivea in there, some chapsticks, and then of course, somewhere down in there, there it is, is the little Vaseline that we picked up. All of the things that we need for keeping our lips from being so chapped, especially now that we've hit winter time. In this little container right here, just have some extra brushes, extra eyeliner, some extra primer, eyeshadow pencils, just other things that I don't need to open right now. They're just stuck back there in that container. In that little jar right there, there are some more brushes that I don't use every time I get ready, but there are some brushes that I do like to use occasionally, so I keep those at arm's reach. And then, of course, all of my eye pencils are in here with another little sharpener specifically just for eye pencils. And as you can see, that really needs to be cleaned. So that's what's in these. Up here in the back, there is a basket of eyeshadow palettes. Not even sure the name for this one. Something that was given to me years ago by my children for Christmas and one of my favorite ones as you can tell a lot of the shadows have definitely hit pan some of them are completely gone because I reach for that one so much then I have a couple of the eyeshadow palettes from elf have another one just like that one because I love that one so much my daughter made sure I was stocked up on that and then this one here this was a Color Works or Color Wonders, what, whatever the name of that is, that comes out around Christmas time. This has some cream products in it, some lip glosses, blushes, and shadows. Then I hear another small one back here. Oh, this one here, this one's just empty, but you can take different eyeshadows and blushes and pop them in there if you want to trade them out to travel. And then in this case right here, my son got me a big kit for Christmas a couple of years back. And this came with a bunch of shadows in it. And so there you can see all of those beautiful colors, purples and blues and rose colors, pinks and greens, some neutrals down in there as well. These here, the color payoff is not extremely high on these, um, but that is to be expected when you buy those big kits that come out at Christmas time. But with an eyeshadow primer and applying them over that milk pencil that I showed you guys earlier, then it can really make these colors pop and they are just beautiful. So my eyeshadow palettes, eyeshadow palettes are what's in that little basket up there. And then up underneath there, you will see these two big kits here. That one there is from e.l.f. The e.l.f. brand ladies really does have great products. And when you apply those over an eyeshadow primer, especially if you use that milk pencil, you will get a great color payoff. And then, of course, I have this big set here. This has everything from neutrals to colors. And then this opens up, and it has some cream products under there that you can use for blushes, lip glosses, even eyeshadows. And then when you open it up, it has several different colors of blushes and contours. And I really, really enjoyed this set as well. In this first drawer on this side, you will see a lot of the eyeshadows that we've been able to pick up for free or really cheap. Way back there in the back, I don't want to pop the whole drawer out, but these cover girls we were able to pick up last week at Winn-Dixie absolutely free. These Revlon sticks here, we were able to pick up the single shadows for free, and of course they slide into each other, making a long palette. 
the Alme. We picked the Alme up for free at CBS a few months back and got several of those. Uh, that right there is just an eyebrow kit that we picked up at Walmart. And then in this basket, you will just see just a conglomeration of loose eyeshadows that I don't keep for traveling, that I just keep around the house, but we have some LA colors. These little ones right here came in a kit that had come out at Christmas time one year. There's a little single pink back there that you'll see. Um, there's also some NYC little trios that we've picked up. Some of the cream shadows from e.l.f. I absolutely love these cream shadows. Another little kit here from Physicians Formula. Another little set to quad from LA Colors. And then there's just some singles from CoverGirl and Revlon and just different brands like that. So this is where we keep all, or where I, excuse me, my daughter has all hers in her room. This is where I keep my eyeshadows and of course any loose pigments that we have. Down here in the next drawer is where I do keep my loose blushes or my single blushes and bronzers. These are ones that I don't reach for quite as often. This is the Wet n Wild and I believe this one is the Cabana. Nope, this one is Ticket to Brazil. A little bit different than the Cabana one. I forget the exact name, Rock My Cabana or something like that. Most of you I'm sure know which one I'm talking about. So these I don't reach for quite as often. These are a lot more of the pink shades of blushes in here. And then just a few little neutrals that are hanging out in the background. This right here is actually a baked eyeshadow from e.l.f., but I love the way it wears as a blush. So that's why it's in this drawer. And the same with a few of these. Absolutely love those. The Palladio. These Palladio from Sally Beauty Supply these are wonderful products and they really have a high color payoff you don't have to use very much of these at all when you're when you're using the product there you can see another little bronzer down there so that's what's in this drawer and then down here in the bottom is where i have all of my extra concealers and foundations and highlighters and those kind of things i do have an extra little eyeshadow primer from Urban Decay. Some of these foundations that are in here as extras are actually some bottles that are almost empty, but I like to stretch products as far as I possibly can. So when it gets down too short for the pump to suck it up, I'm able to pry that top off and able to get this out in my hand just by pouncing it a little bit, applying a little bit of pressure. Um, so I will do that whenever I'm running extremely low. So when my products get too too low for the pump to pump them out. I hang on to them. I'm not sure if you guys do. Comment below and let me know if you guys are the same way. I will even take a lipstick and whenever it gets so low that I can no longer apply it to my lip itself, I will take the back of a eyeshadow brush and dig down in there and get product out to apply on my lip with my finger. I just hate throwing away product. If it's still in there, I want to be able to use it. But anyway, I have some extra concealers in here that we've been able to pick up on clearance for a really inexpensive price. Then when you apply your coupon, some of these products were actually free. Like this Physician's Formula was free for us at Target a little while back. And so that's what's in this bottom drawer. And then last but certainly not least is this container that I've already showed you that we have. This is for when we go to the store and we use our coupons, picking up really great deals, either products that we're going to save for ourselves for later. A bunch of them we have already given away. And then, of course, we do have Christmas coming up as well. So after we record and take our pictures for you guys, we just go ahead and throw them down into here until we can get home time to file them away and do what we're going to do with them. So we have all kinds of mascaras and eyeliners, lip glosses, more foundation, 
more mascaras, all different kinds of mascaras down in here. Uh, we do have a moisturizer down in there. And you can see some nail polish down in there. There's another foundation, some eye pencils, and just a bunch of goodies that we haven't yet been able to put away. Another eye pencil, mostly mascaras in here. As you can tell, that's one of our favorite things we don't like to run out of. And of course, the Physician's Formula Eyeliners, one of my favorite eyeliners. And so, there you have it. That is all the cosmetics that I happen to own at this moment. And there you have it. That's everything I own except just a few pieces that I forgot to take out of my purse to show you. Just remember that with coupons, store sales, and shopping the clearance aisles, you too can begin to create a great cosmetic collection for zero to little money out of pocket. But just remember, it's not about what's on our face that makes us beautiful. It really is about what's on the inside that shines through. I want to thank you so much for taking a few minutes to spend with me this afternoon. We'll see you in the next video.